Colonization would be a wise course of treatment, Your Grace. It will be painful. Fine. The position of the Grand Meister has always been shady in George R. R. Martin's fantasy universe, and it seems like House of the Dragon has one more addition to the list. Previously, you have been familiar with scheming traitor Grand Meisters such as Grand Meister Pycelle, who worked for the Lannisters secretly and indirectly caused the death of King Robert and his hand Lord John Arryn. Of course, there have been a couple of golden characters as well, such as Meister Aemon and the fateful Meister of House Stark, Lewin, but the fans still look upon the Meisters with suspicion. In this video, we will address the Grand Meister in the room and discuss the possibility of Melos being a traitor to the throne. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. The Sea Snake is an overproud man, to be sure, Your Grace. That pride has been injured. Why Melos is a questionable character in House of the Dragon. We see Grand Meister Melos having position in the small council of King Viserys and always comes across as a timid character. More often than not, his solutions involve exercising restraint and he seldom comes up with any bold ideas. However, as the Grand Meister of the house, his greater responsibility lies with the health and well-being of the royal family. King Viserys seems to trust him blindly, but from the very first episode, the show has been dropping hints that Melos might not be as innocent as he appears. All things done by Melos that raise suspicion. It is revealed that quite early in the show that King Viserys and Queen Aima have endured too many failed pregnancies. During one of their conversations, the queen admits to being tired of losing so many babies and pleads with the king to stop trying after her ongoing pregnancy. Unfortunately, she dies from a troubled childbirth where Grand Meister Melos gives the king the choice of losing his unborn child or his wife. However, the way he tells it to the king should be inspected closely. He almost manipulates the king to choose the former and sacrifice his wife. Is putting the queen out of the way beneficial for Melos? Yes, if he is actually aiding Otto Hightower, who wants his daughter to marry the king in the future. Besides, it does seem baffling that an experienced Grand Meister would never instruct the king to stop trying for babies, given the number of miscarriages Queen Ama went through before. The Grand Meister solved far greater issues than childbirth, and it is fishy that Melos couldn't save so many of King Viserys' heirs. His methods are questionable from the very beginning, and his treatment of the king leaves much to be desired. When the king ends up cutting his fingers by sitting on the Iron Throne, Melos makes a mess of the situation and allows the wound to worsen considerably. The maggot treatment where maggots are allowed to eat away the dead flesh is known to be effective, but there are times when the Grand Meister seems absolutely clueless about how to proceed. In the books, Rhaenyra Targaryen brings her own Grand Meister to treat the wounded fingers once they start rotting and a small amputation process is conducted to fix the problem. Either Melos was pursuing the wrong treatment on purpose or he was simply an incompetent meister who could not treat the simplest of injuries. Finally, his treatment of the king during his sickness raises enough suspicion to make the conspiracy theory against him concrete. The condition of the king keeps worsening by the day and the only treatment that Melos offers is the leeches that sucks the poisonous blood out. It doesn't really heal the king and only offers temporary relief. When the situation deteriorates further and the king is counting his last days, the Grand Meister keeps giving him milk of the poppy to keep him sedated. Yes, it takes away the unbearable pain, but it also puts the power of decision-making in the hands of Otto Hightower. Could it be any more convenient? Consuming way too much milk of the poppy has adverse effects on the body and causes heart failure and it could have been a slow death that the conspirators planned for the king. Before his death, Queen Alicent poured something into his mouth, and many suspected it to be some form of poison. While there is no conclusive evidence of that, it is quite likely that the mistreatment and sedation were purposely planned, and Grand Maester Melos played a key role in fulfilling the same. The king has been under heavy stresses preparing for the birth. Bad humors of the mind. Why would Melos want to side with Otto Hightower? If you remember the despicable character Grand Meister Pycelle from Game of Thrones, then you know that he simply sided with the Lannisters because he believed them to be the richest and most powerful house in the Seven Kingdoms. Can Melos not have similar motives as well? Well, there is one major roadblock in this line of thought, and it is the fact that Otto Hightower doesn't exactly have the riches or power as some of the other houses in the show. Its only source of power comes from the trust and faith that 
King Viserys has in him, and later when he manages to get his daughter married to the king. If we consider the entire conspiracy theory, then Melo started plotting behind the king much before he marries Otto's daughter, and hence you might find it difficult to figure out his motives. But that will not be the case if you consider how the High Towers are the main supporters of all Meisters because they rule over Old Town. This connection is easy to miss, but important enough to have an impact on the narrative. A match with their daughter would go a long way towards sealing the breach. Could Melos just be incompetent and not truly evil? This is another possibility that we have to consider. There are plenty of instances that suggest the shortcomings of Grand Meister Melos. He hastily agrees to the suggestions of his apprentice, he seems clueless in crisis, and he fails more than he succeeds in tricky medical situations. If you rule out the possibility of him being evil and working secretly for Otto Hightower, the man could simply be an incompetent fool who was never skilled enough to be in charge. Sometimes, when the previous Grand Meister dies, suddenly the new one in charge is the apprentice who still has a lot to learn. Melos could have gained his chair through such circumstances, although that has never been specified. His mishandling of Queen Ama's pregnancy or his terrible record with childbirth could be attributed to his lack of skills and experience, and he could simply be an unimportant fool who is drawing suspicion for no real reason. This is our best chance to save the digit. No, Chris? Marvelous verdict. We're putting our money on his evil nature. There is far too much contextual evidence by now to suggest that Grand Maester Melos is not exactly innocent's reincarnate. Yes, he could be incompetent, but that doesn't seem feasible that a man in such a position got there without adequate skills. The stairs that he stole every now and then with Otto Hightower did not miss our eyes, and it seems like an awful lot of coincidence. It could all be a decoy by the showrunners, but at the end of season 1, it seems like a distinct possibility that Grand Maester Mr. Melos is playing the Game of Thrones quite treacherously. Do let us know in the comments below if you agree with our viewpoint and tell us why not in case you don't.